Hi, SEO friends. What I want to show you today is um, how you can use Screaming Frog to find out the difference between the modification date and the last crawl date uh, with the help of the new inspection API of Google Search Console. So the idea is that you can get with the new API the last crawl and uh, with scraping your site you can probably get something like a modification date of the article and what you can do now is you can go and say last crawl minus the modification date and this needs to be positive because if this is positive then Google has crawled you this is the crawl time um, after your modification if this is negative then Google does not know about your modification. So these articles here, in our case, um, are updated, but Google does not know because they haven't crawled yet. Okay, so it's really interesting to find this out. Uh, so in our case, there are a few. And so in our case, it may be um, worth to automate this thing and to always highlight which articles are modified, but Google hasn't crawled yet um, but in your case everything may be positive but I think with Screaming Frog you can find out uh, quite quickly if this is an issue for you so let's go into Screaming Frog and I will show you how I set this up so what I do is I scrape basically our new sitemap so new sitemap scraping you go to uh, you go to the list mode and then you can go here and download the xml sitemap so just enter the xml sitemap here but before you do that you need some configuration and the first configuration you need is you need to go here to configuration api access then you go to google search console and you need to select here URL inspection and enable it and in addition you need to select here the property of course you need to connect your account that the whole thing works but uh, it's important that you uh, select here um, the property because um, if you just connect the account then the first property uh, in your account will be selected here and then you get an error so you need to select the account and switch this one on if you have that, then you can go to the Search Console tab, so after crawling, and you will get all this information about um, your, so for example, the last crawl time, you will get information, is it indexed and submitted, you will get information, all the information of the API um, in a nice table. Um, okay, so now we have the last crawl time, so this one, or this one better um, what you need in addition is uh, you need to scrape the modification time of your articles and this can be done with a custom extraction so here you see the results so the custom uh, extraction here is um, the modification time and um, this can be set up here so you go to custom extraction and in my case, I use XPath and I go for uh, a meta tag with a property called article modification time. And then I extract the content. Maybe I can show this to you how this looks in the article. So if you go and open an article, let's go here uh, and inspect. And then you can see here, this is this one. So I'm, I'm going for meta, property, article modification, and then I extract this part, the content. And that's it. And uh, then you scrape uh, the sitemap, basically. And it will take a while, it will do, in addition to the crawl, it will do the API requests and collect the information. And what you then do is you export uh, this sheet of custom extraction. 
and you export this sheet um, both to the table tool of your choice. In my case, I extracted it here. I put them both together into one uh, spreadsheet. And then I did, uh, of course, uh, a VLOOKUP to, to get the modification date for the article. Then a little bit of cleanup. Um, yeah, I can show you the formula here. So it's just replacing the T and the set uh, in the first case here. And in the second case, I did a little cleanup with replacing the T and everything after this dot. Uh, and then I have nice dates here. Um, and then I did a subtraction of these dates. This won't work if you go with the original extraction. So you need to bring them into a good format. Okay. And uh, maybe there will be another video how to automate this. But I'm not sure uh, if I will do that. So thanks. Bye.